In this video I'm going to make a shoe rack, which is really just an excuse for me to try Kumiko for the first time. And to make the Kumiko, I'm going to use some cedar I had. To start, I'm going to cut a bunch of dados angled at 30 degrees into one of my cedar boards, and then cut that board into strips. And once I have those strips, I can half lap them together to make the frame of the Kumiko. Now the Kumiko looks like just a bunch of diamonds, so what I have to do next is make some pieces to split each diamond into two triangles. I'll need about a hundred of these pieces. To make the pieces to divide each of the triangles, I first needed to make a bunch of blanks, I guess you would call them. So I cut a bunch of inch and a half sections and then re them to a quarter inch. Now that I have enough of these blanks, I'm going to set my table saw to 30 degrees and put a bevel on both sides of each piece. Now I need to cut each of these pieces into half inch strips and instead of doing them individually I'm going to tape them all together temporarily and cut them out all at once to speed things up. And here you can see how the new divider pieces fit into the Kumiko. Now for the most tedious part, I'm going to have to make pieces to split each triangle into thirds, meaning I'll need to make over 600 new pieces. And just like before, I'm going to need to make some blanks, only this time they're going to be an inch wide and I'm going to need a lot more.
And again, I'm going to resaw these blanks to a quarter inch. Another difference with these pieces is that one side needs a 60 degree bevel instead of 30 degrees and since my table saw only goes up to 45 degrees I cut a 15 degree wedge for the blanks to ride on to make up the difference. With the 60 degree side done, the other side was easy, I just needed to cut at 30 degrees again. Those were the last pieces I needed to make, so this is what the Kumiko pattern looks like completed. Next I cut two 27 inch pieces from the Kumiko sheet and glued them into some frames I made off camera to make the two shelves of the shoe rack. The last thing I needed to make now was the legs of the shoe rack, and I made those out of a small section of walnut I had. And once I had all the pieces to make the legs cut out, I used my table saw again to make some bridle joints to fit all the pieces together.
Uh, I also decided to cut some notches in the legs to hold the shelves in place, so I went back to the table saw to cut those out. And finally I can just glue the shelves into the notches and then finish the whole shoe rack with some spray lacquer.